So just a couple of days ago, Apple released the third beta for iOS 26.1. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I've noticed after using the beta for a couple of days. And I also like to talk about the battery and performance. And I have some great news to share with you guys in regards to the latest beta, beta 3, for iOS 26.1. And this is exactly what we needed and Apple has changed the software experience in a way where now older devices I feel like once the software is officially available are going to feel entirely different and let me explain the reasons why instead of just telling you let me go ahead and show you now before we get into some of the details in regards to iOS 26.1 beta 3 I just wanted to mention Apple has officially unveiled their brand new processor the M5 which will be powering their brand new devices the iPad Pro MacBook Pro and upgraded Vision Pro all getting the brand new M5 process so you can pre-order these products as of today and they will be available for sale in stores on October 22nd. So the M5 is officially here to power the MacBook Pro, the iPad Pro, and the Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so after using iOS 26.1 Beta 3 for a couple of days, I've noticed that animations have gotten faster on the latest iOS. So the control center, the animations are a lot smoother and faster. They also have more of a bounciness effect. Also when unlocking the device, when going into the app switcher, opening and closing apps, just feel a little faster. And I thought to myself, Will this also translate to older devices or only the new devices? And to my surprise, I've been testing the iPhone 11, which by the way is one of the oldest iPhones, as you know, to support iOS 26.1. The performance is here as well. So on the control center, I've noticed that the effect of bouncing this effect here on the control center is a lot more uh, pronounced, if you will, for lack of a better term. And you also have faster animations, as you can see right here, buttery smooth. This also translates to closing and open applications, swiping through apps just like so. Take a look at the speed. Everything feels a lot smoother and faster and I thought to myself well let's do a performance test let's see if there's any difference in terms of performance so I launched the Geekbench application and let me show you the difference here so this one right here this performance test is iPhone 11 running iOS 26.0.1 the single core score is 1685 and the multi-core score is 3066 again iOS 26.0.1 which is currently the official release now let me show you the latest beta 3 for ios 26.1 so right there it is iphone 11 26.1 this performance test was captured earlier today and you see here we have 1771 single core score so a slight improvement on the single core department but take a look at that multi-core performance boost nearly a thousand points of improvement on the multi-core performance side of things 4016 so take a look at those numbers again right there so 26.0.1 versus 26.1 beta 3 and we have nearly a thousand points of improvements on the multi-core performance side of things in a slight boost on the single core performance boost. So that is kind of crazy. So the performance is here. The boost in performance is definitely translating to all devices. Again, animations are faster, the bounciness effect, the unlocking, the switching between applications and things like that is just crazy fast on this latest beta. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this will also carry and translate out to the final release of iOS 26.1. But yeah, and I've also noticed one other thing. For the first time after updating to iOS 26, with 26.1 beta 3, I've noticed a significant improvement in battery life. This also translates to older devices. So from iPhone 11, again, one of the oldest iPhones to support the software, to the iPhone 17 Pro Max, I've noticed that I'm getting at least an extra 20 to 30 minutes of on-screen time throughout the day. And that is the first time I've noticed any boost in battery life on these devices after updating to iOS 26 in general. And again, this is exactly what we needed. Hopefully this will translate all the way to the official release, but great news all around for new and older devices, faster animations, faster performance across the board, especially on the older devices, which I'm happy to report. Hopefully this will fix some of the choppiness issues once this software is officially released. Hopefully on those older devices, we've seen several reports of that. So we'll have to wait and see. I just wanted to share the good news with you guys. Again, iOS 26.1 developer beta 3. This is exactly what we needed. Thank you for watching this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.